Video 5, on shape Documents. Okay, we're almost done here. I've showed you the basics of 3D modeling in Onshape. Before we finish, I want to go over how files and documents are handled in Onshape. If you look here to the bottom left, you'll notice that we've been working in this Part Studio 1 tab. To the right here is an assembly tab created by default as well. Let's click on it to select it. Here, you can insert parts and part studios to create assemblies. This top bar is dominated by various types of mates you can use to build your assemblies. Okay, let's come back down here. Clicking on this plus sign shows you the options for creating and bringing files into the workspace. You can go to Onshape's App Store to get third-party apps, such as rendering or simulation engines, bill of materials add-ons, and cam add-ons for machining, to name a few examples. Under Add Application, you can open up an already installed add-on. Create a Feature Studio allows you to create custom features to meet your modeling needs, but that's a whole different topic. You can also create additional part studios and assemblies. Creating a drawing lets you create engineering drawings of your parts and assemblies. You can also create folders to help organize all your files in this workspace. So here, if I create a folder, I can now drag my Part Studio 1 and assembly into the folder. Then, if I click on Folder 1, I see my files. To remove them from the folder, right-click the file and move to the parent folder. And finally, I can import files into the workspace, such as documents I want to keep associated with the project, or other CAD files, such as SOLIDWORKS files, or more universal files like STEP, IGES, etc. To rename any of these tabs, right-click on them and select Rename. Let's exit out of this workspace. Onshape automatically saves all work you do, so you don't need to explicitly save when leaving this document. To exit and go back to the document screen, click on this top leftmost button in the window labeled Onshape. As a first step, let's just click here on the My Document section so it's a bit less overwhelming. Okay. So this middle largest section lists all your different workspaces, as Onshape likes to call it. They are like project folders. Each line item is a separate project that contains all the associated files. This can include part files, assembly files, drawings, PDFs, and third-party files such as bill of materials, renderings, etc. Since Onshape is a cloud-based CAD system, all your documents are stored in the cloud and not on your computer. This means you can access them from anywhere that you have an internet connection. It also means that you never have to remember to save because Onshape automatically saves. Since the platform is browser-based, it also means you always have the latest version of the software so you don't have to worry about pushing updates to your computers or backward compatibility with other users. As you might notice, this video was recorded when the free plan still featured 10 private documents. This is no longer the case. Today, if you're using a free subscription, you can create and edit unlimited public documents and can only view but cannot create or edit private documents. Public means that anyone can see and open your project in the public documents section and also copy the files into their own workspaces and modify them. Private means only you have access to it, unless, of course, you explicitly grant access or share your documents with others. On the other hand, if you're on a paid professional subscription, you have unlimited private storage. If you're just learning or don't care about people seeing your creations, then the free subscription will work for you. Two important points here. First, private files that you might have created during a month of professional paid subscription do remain private. You just cannot edit them if you're not subscribed that month. So, in a way, this allows a type of on-demand CAD if your CAD needs are sporadic. So you keep your private files for viewing indefinitely, and when a project comes up, you can subscribe for those months and create and edit private files. And second, Onshape does offer an education plan that is free and does have unlimited private document creation and editing. But to qualify for the education plan, you have to be affiliated with an accredited educational institution and created documents will be indefinitely tagged with an education tag. Okay, moving on. On the left column here, these menu items are self-explanatory, but I'll go through them. Recently opened here 
is useful because it lists the project you most recently worked on. This is where we landed after logging in. My Documents is an umbrella folder for all documents that either you created, edited, or someone shared with you. You can also categorize and assign labels to your projects to make them easier to find and sort. If any of the documents are public, this small globe icon will indicate that. Public lets you see all the public documents on the Onshape server. Tutorials and samples are official examples that Onshape uses in some of their tutorials. And trash here is where documents reside that you've put into trash but haven't actually deleted. Let's quickly take a look at public. So here you can scroll down and as you reach the bottom, the page will just load more and more since there's so many files. Plus it would be a waste of bandwidth to load the whole list if it wasn't going to be viewed anyway. You can sort by ascending and descending by workspace, project name, by time modified, or by number of likes, links, or copies made. You can also come up here to the top and search by workspace name. Also, for browsing documents, especially interesting for public documents, you can also view the list in a grid style with larger thumbnails. Okay, let's come back to list view. To open a workspace, either single click on the underlined name or double click elsewhere on the line or thumbnail. You can view stats on the project by clicking anywhere but the name. Now, you can also open these public workspaces. You can just open them and view them, or if you right-click and select Copy Workspace, you can bring it into your own documents and make edits to it. Viewing others' project is a great way to learn how they made their 3D models, and it's knowledge that you can then apply in your own modeling. Thank you so much for watching this mini Getting Started video series. I hope it's been helpful. Please let us know what you think or how we can improve either via comments or our contact form. If you get stuck, a good place to look for answers is the Onshape forums or send a question our way and we'll try to answer it too. Thanks again.